partner with a group of the most sharp, savvy, and good-looking financial advisors in all of the United States. So let me ask you, and I want to hear, do you all agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you do. And I especially hope you agree that now more than ever, we have a real opportunity to help and serve our clients and grow our business at the same time. Assuming, of course, we let go of those things that get in the way and we focus on doing the right thing. Are we ready to grow our business and up our game? So here's a question for you. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as an employee or do you see yourself as a value-added contributor. What about your owners? When they look at you, when they see you, do they see an expense? Or do they see someone, you are my business partner, helping me grow my business? All right, identify yourself. I just want the book. <laughs> You're good, Christina. <laughs> All right, this is great. Now guess what? If we've been doing all of these things we talked about and doing it well, believe me, you're gonna grow your business. But in addition to that, I wanna make sure that you get a life, that you don't work yourself silly. So what am I asking you to do? I wanna make sure you get your fair share of cappuccino moments. Now I admit, it helps to be Italian to say it like that. Everybody ready? together. Cappuccino! Exactly! And from this day forward, every time you see a cappuccino cup, every time you hear the word cappuccino, I want you to say, am I getting my fair share? Live from Phoenix, it's High Definition People! Now, why is that so important? Because we want everyone to believe in the brand. What do you believe? What do the caregivers believe? Because if all we think is, oh, we're so expensive. You're not expensive. You have to think of it as very valuable. Do you realize what you're doing at Bright Star? Do you realize what Shelley's vision is? Folks, we are redefining the home care experience. We are upping that bar so high. First key point, think like a CEO and a business owner. So let me ask you, how do you view yourself? Do you see yourself as an advisor, more like a salesperson, or do you see yourself like a CEO? All these guesses are great. How many of you said entrepreneurial? Anybody? All right, congratulations. It's creator of entrepreneurial opportunities. None of us can consider ourselves entrepreneurs. Not you, not me if we're not leveraging our time and our talent. Activities are the actions we take to get a result. A result is a successful outcome of taking those activities. When I asked Jim to get the copier fixed, that's the result I wanted. His leaving voicemails and emails, those are simply activities. So we had a very positive coaching discussion, and I challenged him to come up with some new approaches. As HR professionals, we need to be role models in coaching and getting our managers to do the same. We have found in our consulting practice that when any of these three things stop, 
disengagement sets in. The first one, development. Is anyone developing me? I can't remember the last time I was coached or observed or someone taught me something new. And as owners in the room, you know if you develop your people properly, you won't have to always be doing everything yourself. Those business owners that understand how to keep your staff engaged, excited about their job, they're going to create for you a return on your asset. Why? Because they're going to sell your business because we're not treating them like short order cooks. Because you spend your lives helping your clients reach their goals and their dreams. Is it possible there's someone dedicated to you every day that they're not financially fit. They're not reaching their goals and their dreams. And we could help them. Because if you help them, let me tell you something. You have a walking billboard for your business.